Hello Aquarius! Welcome to my channel, The Mother Speaks Tarot. My name is Allison. Uh, welcome back everyone, uh, but if you are new, welcome. Uh, please consider subscribing and liking and all that. Uh, also, if you're new, I'm also an author. I've written two books so far. All the information for them is in the description box below. Okay, everyone, so um, next week is St. Patrick's Day. I won't be doing Zodiacs next week, so we're celebrating it early. I hope you all have a happy St. Patrick's Day. Our abundance visual here is the pot of gold at the end of the rainbow. This rainbow says, dream big. All right, so um, when I was decorating and pulling the decks for the St. Patrick's Day week, um, I was getting other decks, and Spirit said, you know, he was a saint. Uh, I'm like, oh, okay, so I got it. So what that means is um, like Jesus stuff. We're going the Jesus route here. We're using the Medieval Scapini Tarot by Luigi Scapini. It's a um, it's a vintage deck. Uh, it's, a, it's the first kind of deck I ever used was the med Medieval Scapini. And it's got a lot of like Christian stuff in it. You know, we don't do uh, religion here, but we do honor Jesus. And so we use that. We are going to um, get some messages from the Archangel Oracle deck and, of course, from the loving words from Jesus himself here. Also, um, if you have some yes or no questions, we're going to be using the Angel Answers deck. This has uh, two yes cards and two no cards in it, so you may get a yes or no answer when it comes to this deck. And so let's, let's get going here. Let's do this. So, Spirit, what is going on for Aquarius for these ne next two weeks? Yeah, this was the, um, the actual deck that I had, um, my, I gave to my son because he wanted it because it was mine. But I have, uh, this is a vintage deck. I got another deck just like this. This was the very first tarot that I ever used and it's very interesting. Okay, so these, oh, that one too wanted to come out. Let's see what we have here. This is the last one. So this is the what? This is the middle one. Okay. Okay. All right. So what we have here is air energy, all air energy swords. That's you with Gemini and Libra. So this is all about your mind right now. You've been thinking a lot. You've been in your thoughts a lot. Um, you may be watching someone, okay? Or you may be going, um, doing some studying, perhaps taking a class. Okay, you may have gotten a message from an air sign. Um, and here we have uh, the Knight of Swords, but in the reverse. Okay, so the Knight of Swords is very fast. He's like the fastest knight there is. So what I'm feeling like is that you're, you're, things are going slow for you right now because you're resting. You've got the Four of Swords here. Okay, and the Four of Swords is... Um, it's rest, it can be peace of mind. However, things are, yeah, you're taking a break. I feel more than peace of mind. Um, let's see what else we get. Hmm. I got these the wrong way. All right, what do we got here? The Queen of Coins in the reverse, the Knight of Cups in the reverse, underneath the Knight of Swords in the reverse as well. I'd like to have one more card, please. And the Five of Wands under the Four of Swords, uh, the Two of Coins in the reverse. So you're not juggling uh, your money right now, um, but you may also be feeling a little off balance. Um, all right, so hold on here. Queen of Coins in the reverse. This is a person who, it, this is an earth energy. This is a person who can be um, very materialistic. Um, somebody who's very greedy. Um, somebody who can be very vicious and, um, you know, competitive and one-up you and, and like walk all over you here. And uh, then what we've got is the Knight of Cups in the reverse. This is an offer of love usually. This is usually the Knight in shining armor. Right here we have, I believe, is Rasputin though. He's, 
It's not a knight in shining armor. So whoever this person, you may be um, expecting uh, this knight to be rushing in. Um, this knight rushes in to war, okay? But this knight comes in and offers love of some kind. And they're, they're both, nobody is coming in, nobody is offering anything here. Um, all knights represent movement, and we're not getting that here. There's no movement going on here because you're resting. Now, underneath this resting, um, and you may even not be thinking about it, I just heard. Your mind may be at rest. You may not be thinking about something you should be thinking about, perhaps. Now, the Five of Wands is in the reverse. Now, the Five of Wands is about a conflict, but it's the kind of conflict where uh, everybody ends up kind of better for it at the end, kind of like sparring. When people spar, they're not really fighting each other. They're just getting better at their craft. However, you've got this in the reverse. And so the, I, what I'm feeling from this is there's, you're, you're not com conflicted, okay? So you, you may very well have some peace of mind here. Um, let's see what else we can get. Let's get out the Archangel cards. Yeah, maybe there's no movement here because somebody is being very selfish. Somebody's being very um, self-centered, uh, greedy. This would be a mature person too. It doesn't have to be a woman, but it is definitely... See, I'll, I'll explain this. the personality of the Queen of Coins. This is a nurturer. This is somebody like a doctor or a nurse or a caregiver of some kind, <clears throat> veterinarian, pardon me, somebody who nurtures others, who cares for others, who's generous with their heart, their energy, their time, uh, what they do for a living. And usually because of this beautiful energy, they are rewarded with a lot of earthly wealth. Well, this person isn't like this. This person is the opposite of that. So whoever you, you know, I think you're going to recognize who this person is. And then this is why there, there's no movement here. You may be watching this person, but there's no change. There's no conflict because nothing's moving. Oh, that one just went flying like a little fish out of water. I'd like to get at least one more, please, before I go pick that one up. Um, can I have just one more, please? Thank you. Okay, I got this one that's on the floor. This was the last one, so let's do this one. Breathe. Oh, I love this one. I'm so glad this one came out. It's, it's very green, very St. Patrick-y. Archangel... Um, <laughs> Raphael has the emerald green healing light. Oh, so you need some healing. It says breathe. Take several deep breaths and ex exhale slowly to awaken your energy and to release old patterns. Okay, so I'm feeling like, yeah, things aren't moving for you. You may be um, just watching and not doing anything. Um, Well, I do feel better. <laughs> Several deep breaths and exhale slowly to awaken your energy and release old patterns. So I'm feeling like there's some old patterns here that you um, you are going through. Uh, oh, it's why you're not moving. You're in the midst of these old patterns. You need to release them. Uh, in the middle of this here, we've got Claire Cognizance. Claire Cognizance. Uh, Archangel Uriel. He is the repeating angel. Uh, if you hear a repeated message, that's Uriel. Pay attention to thoughts and ideas that come to you as they are answered prayers. Okay? So, yeah. So, these two together, this is saying, okay, you know, as long as you're in this moment here where you're resting, this can also be meditation. Okay? If you're already meditating, they're telling you, good job. This is exactly what we want you to do because this can be uh, a card for meditation as well, okay? Now, clear cognizance is understanding, okay? So pay attention and understand that these thoughts coming to you through these meditations are your answers, okay? And then, crystal clear intentions. 
wow, you know, I, I shuffle these cards and a lot of these same cards come out when I do these readings. Crystal clear intentions. Okay. Um, look at the clarity of this crystal. I mean, you can really just see right through it. And, and this is crystal clear. Now, if you look in all these inclusions, you know, there, there's, you, this is how we scry. But this is crystal clear. You got to be able to see right through it. Now, when you look through a crystal, it, it'll um, make things look kind of weird sometimes. Like I'll put my finger here and it'll look closer than it, and it really is. Um, so I don't know why I'm saying that, but you might. Um, so Archangel Michael, be clear about what you desire and focus upon it with unwavering faith. And as you do this, you are protected Archangel uh, Michael is in your suit. He is, he is the suit of swords for air energy. You are protected. Okay. Um, yeah. Be clear about what you want. Don't just sit here watching. Don't just sit here not moving forward. There could, maybe you need to tell somebody that you love them, but maybe you're not doing that because this is the person you're focusing on or this is what you think they are or something, and maybe they're not. This is not the person. It could be somebody like this, but maybe, I don't know. You have to, to clarify what's going on here. Let's see what Jesus wants to say. I'm sure he's going to clarify what's up here for us. Uh, what I'm, oops. What I'm really feeling here is that, um, yeah, you're just like not seeing things the way they actually are. You may not be um, clear about what you truly want. You may not be clear about people, um, what's really going on there. Uh, you can't really be clear about people if you're only watching and you're not talking to them, if you're not making um, some kind of movement. Okay. Can I have one more card from you, Jesus, please? One more card, please. Thank you so much, Jesus. All right, let's get these two down here. Okay. And then this one's the last one. So, according to your faith, be it unto you. What? According to your faith, be it unto you. So, whatever you truly believe in, that is what Jesus wants you to have. Okay? Take therefore no thought for the morrow, for the morrow shall take thought for the things of itself. Wow, they, um, they really put this type of writing in. <laughs> but basically what this is saying is um, don't be worried about tomorrow. Worry about right now because, what, not worry, but think about right now, right now. Okay, don't just be watching. Don't just be meditating. Um, do stuff today because when you, when you are in the moment, everything tomorrow takes care of itself. Okay. And be not afraid, only believe. Okay. So according to your faith, be it unto you and be afraid, be not afraid, only believe is telling me that there's some part of you that is afraid. There is a part of you that is afraid to, um, offer your cup of love. Because um, this could be the person that you want, but they may not seem to be interested in you or they may seem different than what they really are. But if you're only watch watching them, you don't know if you are not offering your cup of love and speaking with them so that you don't have to deal with any conflict, then you're not really figuring anything out. You're just staying in that fear mode, okay? And, and this right here, I mean, I'm sorry, but I feel like there's a lot of suffering going on here. You're just like, um, even though this is the Four of Swords where there's supposed to be a lot of peace, this guy right here doesn't look like he's really um, having a lot of peace. I, I think he's having like a, a spiritual moment or it looks like he's begging God for help. So just focus on today um, and, and don't be afraid. Just believe that what you what you want, what is your heart's desire, um, goodness will come to you. Okay. Believe in yourself, believe in the divine, believe in, uh, that you are worthy for the love that you would like. Okay. So this is also saying to me now, 
whatever you put out there is going to come back to you. So if you're only watching and not doing anything, that's all that's ever going to happen. If you're watching and hoping something happens in the future, when this is the thought for tomorrow thing going on here, if you were just thinking that maybe in the future something will change, no, it isn't. It's going to stay the same until you are not afraid and you believe in yourself and you act in the moment and you, and you act in, in that time, okay? Now, I'm going to be using the Angel Answers deck here. So if you have that question, the yes or no question, you might want to bring that to mind or pause this right now and um, think of your question. It may be answered with a yes or a no, but the, they may give you something else. Angels, what do you want to tell Aquarius about this? What else do you want them to know? Like, I feel like you need some encouragement. You know, you your card in the Major Arcana is the star okay so that's all your hopes and dreams it's it's like that is your energy okay i'll throw some of these glitter balls i'll find them later but um that's your energy you're meant to be the star you're meant to have your uh hopes and dreams come true you embody that energy or it wouldn't be your card okay so when when people are like say stars like musicians or something like that they don't just watch and wait and hope that somebody will um notice them they they do stuff to do it they put themselves out there to be noticed thank you so much may i have please one more card for aquarius thank you so much okay let's see what we got here Ooh. all right oh Okay, so this is really weird. Okay, so the first card that you have is a no with an exclamation mark. Okay, so if you had two questions, the one that was foremost in your head is a no. If you have another question right after that, your answer is yes, but not with an exclamation mark. It, it's, it is a yes, but you have to get there, right? And within the next few weeks is when they, I feel like they would like you to act. Yeah, I'm just really feeling like there's something that you need to do within the next few weeks in order to get this, whatever you're, I, I, I'm sorry, but I just like feel like you have, not like somebody is gonna be bringing in this cup of love. I feel like you have a cup of love that you want to give, but maybe you don't feel attractive enough because like I said, this is usually a knight in shining armor and this is Rasputin right here. You know, maybe you feel like they are, this person isn't gonna like you or they aren't gonna like your offer of love, but you're never gonna know unless you do something, unless you give them that message here, you know, because knights are movement, but they're also messengers too. Um, you're not rushing into war. You don't want conflict, right? But um, maybe if you offer love, it won't bring conflict. It, it looks like you are able to, uh, don't be afraid, only believe. Don't worry about tomorrow. Just do what you feel right now understand what you want be crystal clear about it and understand understand your thoughts your ideas they're your answered prayers okay and when you feel overwhelmed just breathe okay meditate on it contemplate it in a meditative sense your answers will come to you better if you're relaxed okay so that's what i have for you at this time aquarius i hope you enjoyed your reading i love you all and i'll see you next time